Time for another vodka myth. What if you've got an infestation of bees and no commercial bee killer? According to one myth, vodka could be your solution. One of the other vodka myths that we've heard of is that vodka could be used as a bee killer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build a bee box, basically a clear plex box that will keep the little critters in so they don't come out and start stinging us. Uh, we'll fill this up with vodka and then spray it in there and see if it does in fact kill the bees. For Tori, knocking up a bee box is as simple as A, B, C. Breathing holes will ensure that the bees don't suffocate. No point in trying to kill bees that are already dead. All right, see that's, this, this, see the screen right there? That's so these little buggers won't get out and try to sting me. There you go. You got a box, throw the bees in, close the lid, close the latch. I'm probably gonna tape it up just in case, and then uh, we'll start killing bees. Splendid. Now for a spot of bee wrangling. Our intrepid trio have come to Marin County to collect some unsuspecting subjects from bee enthusiasts Lynn and Jim Archer. We're actually um, working on a myth. Have you ever heard of vodka being sprayed as a bee repellent? No. No, but I'm interested. <laughs> that would be nice. Do you think it'll work? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm curious as you are. What do you think, honey? Uh, it'll get them drunk. <laughs> you think they'll get a buzz? <laughs> <laughs> well, should we suit up now? I think Definitely. so. Definitely. <laughs> right. Yes, those bees are just waiting for you. That's exactly what the Bill team are worried about. So they're not taking any chances. All right, worst case scenario, like a whole bunch of bees get into the suit and they start stinging the heck out of us. What do you do? Well, what you might want to remember is bees always fly up. So like when I'm up there with my overalls, you, you, you open up the top part and let them fly up and out, up and out. You know, run, first run, <laughs> unzip, run, you know, pull off everything and, and they'll try to fly up. So now you know. We are ready. Take us to your leader. Take us to your leader. Laughing in the face of terror, our amateur apiarists are led to a busy hive. Whoa! Yeah! And you can see how this is all filled with honey, nectar that hasn't quite formed into honey at the moment. Dead bees walking. Now we're just gonna put a few of you in the box. Jim gonna do When is a bee a guinea pig? When it's unlucky enough to end up in Tori's bee box. Is that good? Do you want yeah. more? That's 12. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I don't wanna take too many. The rest of the hive seem none too happy about donating their siblings to science. I think these guys are calling for help. <laughs> they're starting to they're, sound They're angry. riling up the rest. Okay, they're getting nasty. You can start hearing the difference when they get in a little upset. Yeah, I hear them getting excited. They're upset. That's yeah, it. they're sounding okay. pretty pissed off. Yes, thank you, little babies. That was very kind of you. Are we done with this? They're, they're trying to poke into mad. my head. <laughs> Brace through your nose, dude. Before things get to the running and unzipping stage, they make a quick exit. Back at the shop, the bee governor has failed to grant a last minute reprieve, so Tori gets down to work. I have one spray bottle filled with water, one spray bottle filled with vodka, and so now I'm gonna test the myth. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray five times into the bee box with the vodka, spray five times into this bee box with the water, and see how the bees respond to each. Okay, here we go, vodka first. The bees are starting to um, roll around. <laughs> That's terrible, they're drunk. It's the bee bender from hell. It looks like they're climbing the walls to get out of the liquid. So, you know, if it's gonna kill them, it could be that they're just drowning in it, and that would work with any liquid. While they wallow in vodka, Tori sprays box two with an equivalent volume of plain water. Then he leaves the bees to sink or swim for a quarter hour, which in bee time seems like an eternity. We're about 15 minutes into this experiment. Um, it looks like the water bees are doing a lot worse than the vodka bees, and I don't know why that is. Perhaps they're hard-drinking worker bees. You know, my feeling is if the vodka was gonna work as a, you know, an insect killer, it would have already taken effect. The ones that are dying are actually the ones that are drowning in the vodka. I think what I'll do is just let this, uh, each of the box dry out 
and then come back and then do a death count. What a fun myth this is. Even if the vodka doesn't kill them, tomorrow they're gonna wish it had. Okay, so how'd it go with the vodka and the water with the bees? The two things that I noticed when I started the experiment is one, when I sprayed the vodka in, the bees jumped out of the vodka onto the sides of the wall. So they got out of there as soon as they could. When I sprayed the water, they didn't move. They just kind of stayed there. So the vodka was more foreign to them, like maybe they were used to the water, but the vodka is like, oh my God, we gotta get out of here. Makes sense, but even so, it is surprising that the water bees have come off second best. I mean, maybe they're not dead. I mean, you know, until we do, until we do a full bee autopsy, I think we can't decide if they're dead yet. Look, look at that guy. I think, I think he's still alive. I, why don't you do some, you know, BCPR, BPR. All right, we'll pull these guys out, see if we can re revive some of them, and then, uh, then we'll count the bodies. Sounds like some kind of B-grade horror movie. With the water bees in need of immediate attention, they get the hair dryer treatment. Did it come out with a little beehive hairdo? Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> At first, all seems lost, but Grant and Tari keep believing, and slowly a little miracle starts to unfold. Hey, I got two more survivors. Apparently, bees have a waxy coating on the thorax, so though drenched, they weren't drowned. That's pretty amazing, all but two came back to life. Your BCPR was truly a thing to behold, With like it? a bee whisperer. Why, thank you. And while the water bees were toweling off, the vodka bees were sobering up. Hey, check out these guys. These guys I, are kicking I, ass. No, I mean, aside from maybe a little bit of a hangover, they seem to be doing just fine. They're looking a lot better than I do after a hangover. Wow, dude, that's amazing. I thought the ones that we sprayed with water were all dead. We got all but two revived. Yeah, and the vodka ones, we didn't even need to revive them. We didn't lose a single bee. So vodka is a bee killer. Totally busted. Busted. With a capital B.